Hello everyone, and welcome back to the absolute adorable chaos that is Let's Build a Zoo, where apparently we have a tradable badger. All right, I have been thinking that I really, really, really need to start expanding quite heavily on what we can actually add into our zoo. And the way to do that is by connecting with the worldwide zoo network and training some of our animals for some of their animals. And that is how eventually we will unlock the giraffe, which now that I reflect on it, it's been like, a couple months at least of being in our let's build a zoo adventures and the fact i still don't have drafts my favorite animal well one of many favorite animals in the zoo is kind of an atrocity especially because i can crossbreed those drafts with anything and create an amazing animal hybrid so the fact i still don't have them is sort of something that boggles my mind when I realize that it's a true fact. Uh, and we have a lot of other animals to collect, so I do wanna start trading with more people. And it looks like today we are gonna be trading with more people for a bear. Well, okay, so the bear needs, I think, a mountain habitat, and the bear is the symbol of our state, but we wanna spread our sunshine over the whole globe. And if we're going to do that, then I'm definitely going to need to have a new place to put the bears because I don't want to mix them with other animals. And then oh, we can adopt a hippopotamus. Ooh, and a new species of duck and another chicken. Well, I don't need more male chickens. I actually need more female chickens for the eggs. So we'll get to that. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to rescue this duck. And let me go and put the duck there's already a lot of ducks in here, but maybe we'll be able to go ahead and have it breed. I have way too many ducks. What am I doing with all these ducks? Oh my gosh. All right. So hang on. Uh, I also ended up with some hippos last time, if I remember correctly, because we had that sudden rush of hippos coming in. Um, and I'm going to need to take good care of that. Let's see. We have low water in a bunch of places. Uh, somebody died. Unfortunately, that does happen. And if I'm going to have bears, where am I going to put them? I think we're going to put the bears over here. And we'll turn this into kind of a mountain, or we'll put them over here and we'll kind of make this into a mountain transition exhibit. So yeah, we're gonna need mountain. Uh, let's move this lovely little recycling bin. Very important to reduce, reuse, recycle. Uh, I can't remember. How does one rotate? Can't remember how to rotate structures. Right click, Siri, you're so silly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's make a bear exhibit I think uh, do I want to I want to widen this path for sure coming up from here so let's do this let's make it so that people can maybe walk in like so have a couple seats they can sit down at and then we'll maybe yeah, maybe we'll put in a sign over here do bears need that much that much space okay maybe we'll come up here there we go and then I'm going to leave a little bit of room for us to hide the water filter. And then let's see, where's the nearest subway? The nearest subway station is over here. So we wanna put the entrance close so our zookeepers can move briskly from place to place. All right, so there's for the bears. So let's go ahead and pop into the world map again. And we're gonna come on over and let's trade the older of our two elderly female badgers <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and trade them yay and we got a male and female bear good luck bears are always loved by everyone but mostly when they're safely fenced off in an enclosure yay all right so let's go ahead and deliver them over here and now our bears are going to be coming tomorrow so that gives us a little bit of time to figure out like how we want to decorate everything and prepare for bear incursion i suppose uh, and then did we want to adopt anything else? So there is a hippo. I need to figure out where our other hippos went. And I think we need to give the hippos a better habitat because we did have that like sudden parade of hippos. <gasps> Tapir! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're really Tapir, you guys. Recently, I watched a movie called Pig and before that, another called Okaja, which made me decide to build a little pig sanctuary. Then I can give them a hug each day and leave the bacon in the supermarket. Can you help me with my new diet choice reinforcement project by sending me some pigs? Oh, that's really cute. So she's gonna go ahead and adopt some pigs and we could get some Tapirs if we trade one of our many, many, many pigs to her. <gasps> yes. Okay, so we could also have Tapirs. Do we wanna handle both Tapirs and pigs? I know enclosures are blocked. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. I think we could probably get some tapir over here. 
yeah, I think this would kind of be lovely to maybe stick a couple to peer back here. Oops, didn't mean world map. So that would be tropical. I wonder, can we buy this spot yet for sale? What if I want to buy it? $80,000. You know what? Let's do it because we're going to need a lot of expansion and we're going to need uh, quite a bit of work to be able to make all of our animals happier. I almost think it's time to retire the robot lion. I've always felt a little guilty about the robot lion. Like, I don't know if I have what it takes to be able to make the robots as happy as they deserve. And let's put them up here over on, we'll put them on this side, I think. And let's see if we could just make like a nice long tapir exhibit with maybe a little water feature at the back back here. All right, we'll do this and that. There we go, there we go. And we can actually come in, carry on this cool wood decking design that we created, and then carry on the cool log pattern. Oh, I love all the little pixel details. That is just so me. Being able to like add in cute little pixel stuff. All right. And then don't need heat map. And then let's do this. Let's just. That's the Utah Zoo. I just about had a heart attack. I was like, where am I to be? Where am I to appear? Oh, that's right. I need a tortoise. I need a female tortoise so bad. Is there one to adopt? There is not. Ah, oh, dear. All right. So let's go ahead and we are going to adopt out. How about Jazz? Our very old female pig. I think that she would be perfect. She could go ahead and she could have a very happy retired life being at the Oakland Zoo. So we're going to trade her. And we've got two to appear. Great, thanks for the pigs. I'm conflicted. I love them as living beings, but now every time I see them, I think about sausages, bacon, and ham. I think my plan to stop eating pork has backfired. No, no, you'll get there. Don't worry. I've been vegan for, gosh, almost nine, ten years. Ten years now. Wow, holy cow. That went by really fast. And trust me, you can eat so much amazing, delicious food. And then you can also feel really good about, like, the way you've done it. All right, so now we have bears incoming, and we have tapir incoming. And then we have... A very furious patch of hippos, perhaps? Like, everybody seems really perplexed about what's going on in here. All right, I think we need to clear out some of the capybara. I think we may have had too many capybara. I'm gonna be honest about this. Let's see, space. So how does one select multiple capybara again? All right, let me think about this. So, it's time. It's time to go through the enclosure and it's time to animals. Hmm. Medical status. They haven't been checked in a long time. They're getting really thirsty too. Okay. Let's see. I love my little capybara with the tail. Space. View all pens. Oh, I know what we need to do. Okay. I almost forgot. You have to come over conservation capybara. Let's release some to the wild, and there we go! 101 years old, Charles, geez! All right, let's try releasing some of the younger ones. Um, and then maybe some of the plain colored ones. 105, oh my gosh, you guys. Like, we're doing really good on some of these guys' ages. Howie and Maggie, Chewy. We've got a lot of males we can also kind of release. Let's see, Maggie, and then we're gonna go with Kobe. We'll keep Trooper. There's Magic. Release Magic. Keep Amber. Release Floyd. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna release a whole bunch of KP Barge of the Wild. And look at how much that helped out over here. Excellent. I have no idea who's blocking what and why this is all so freaked out. However, a lot of you guys have helped to explain that sometimes when you, aha, this, right over here, when you have poop that is actually blocked and the keepers can't reach it, that is where everything freaks out. So hopefully we just took care of that. And then let's make sure, so the capybara need more water. So let's add in another thing of water. I think we're tight on water because, whoops, that is not where water can be reached. I think we're tight on water because we suddenly have a bunch of hippos in here. Oh, and it's so dark over here. How is everybody supposed to see our cute capybara? This is like one of my favorite spots. Ooh, the dandy lamp and this, oh, this cute grass lamp. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna need to improve this because nobody can see anything. 
So let's actually remove these plants right here, which is going to pull decoration down, but we're going to do it because we're going to come in and put in a couple grass lamps on either side instead. Ooh, and apparently one of our meerkats can actually go ahead and be traded away. All right, we're going to move that Aztec plant. All in the name of being able to go ahead and add in a couple more grass lamps. It's very, very dark. I hope we can, oh, maybe we can unlock some sort of cool floor lamp at some point. Oh, Siri, brilliant. I didn't even think about that. All right, we're gonna have to investigate that as well. So animal enrichment car tire, deco pack Viking house. I think we're getting close to unlocking something special right here. So let's unlock this ice sculpture. <gasps> Nutrition hut, automatically order food for your animals. Heck yes. <laughs> That'll make life so much easier. I know that's something that was included in some of the new updates. Oh geez, and the bears are on their way. Or something's on the way. Oh, it's the duck. Oh no, that means the bears are coming. Okay, if the bears are coming, I need to get this all set up. And if I'm gonna get that set up, I need more keepers. All right, let's see, tasks. Did I want tasks? Oh yay, we got a burger shop. There we go. Uh, build a fry shop. I'm pretty sure we, we, oh, we don't have a fry shop. What, what? I did not expect that. All right, so I'm gonna need to find, where did I put my keeper station? <laughs> I think I actually moved my keeper station. There's the storeroom by the farm, which was a really cute place to put it. And look at how efficient it is with all of my keepers going in and out to be able to gab all of the food from the farm that they need. Boy, this place is a mess. It's gonna be really nice just to have a few days where we're waiting for like a crossbreed animal to be born, where we just focus on making it clean and tidying it. Oh, just thinking about that brings me so much joy. Guys, where'd my keeper hut go? <laughs> I have my research staff. What have I done? I don't remember what it looks like. What have I done? Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. A duck has been incinerated. Rest in peace, little duck. All right, so I don't think the storehouse, the storehouse is where I manage my animal keepers. What? I completely forgot about that. All right, we don't want somebody with bad work ethic. Here's energy, work ethic energy. We'll pay you above rate and then we'll hire Bryce. So let's go ahead and grab Bryce. Bryce, you are gonna be in charge of the bears. So that's literally gonna be your zone to take care of. Even though it's super expensive to manage people uh, in only one spot, we're gonna do it. All right, you have very bad work ethic, ma'am. Okay, politeness. You don't really need to be super polite, Lawrence, to be good with our tapir. I don't know if it's the most efficient to hire like one person per area, but that's just how we're gonna do it for now. And, oh, our bears are here. All right, so let's go ahead. Yes, yes, enclosure's probably blocked by poop again. Hello, oh, dear. Uh, and then let's come in and give our bears some really nice spots to get some water in a couple locations. And then let's add in some shelter and enrichment for them. They're gonna, probably gonna need a big rock shelter to be honest. And I wonder, let's put the big rock shelter in the middle. Normally I put it on the edges, but it might be more fun to have in the middle. And then let's decorate it with some mountainy things. Let's see. Maybe we'll give them, here, we'll give them like a big bush, we'll say. Maybe some wooden logs. I wonder if they'll use that. We'll have to see. I don't think they'd use a salt block. However, maybe they'd use a ball and that would be good for them. Or a scent marker. Aha, uh -huh. we can hide that behind like a plant of some type. Ooh, and then there's these cliffs. I have seen bears in zoos and things like that just absolutely scale up cliffs like nobody's business. It, it was really Im impressive now that I think about it actually. All right, so view object. I'm gonna take those wooden logs and let's actually move the wooden logs up against there. But at the St. Louis Zoo, there are some bears who do have uh, like a big cliff face. And we were walking up to the grizzly bear exhibit one day and all of a sudden one of the grizzlies just 
bolted really fast right up the side of the cliff face and we just stood there and made a memo to ourselves like right so be really careful when we go to Yellowstone because they can just go straight up rocks <laughs> So that was really important actually. All right, we'll come back for their food supplies in just a second. We have some Tapir who need a little bit of TLC. And by TLC, I mean like they're, they're gonna die without this water. So let's get them water. And then let's go ahead. Do they want a little mossy shelter? Oh, I love the mossy shelter because it's just so cute. We'll put it at the back there for them to be able to enjoy. And then, let's see. Oh, a little small ball. Oh, Tapir on a trampoline sounds so cute. I want to see Tapirs on trampolines. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. And then we'll give them some leaves to hide in. Let's see. I don't know if Tapirs play with tug ropes, but I'll put that down. And a water sprinkler. There, that should be really nice for them. I hope that is at least. And then let's come in and we might try decorating a wee bit. Let's see, there's lavender, hibiscus. Let's go, let's go tropical. Everyone likes a bit of scenery. A good variety of items will keep your park looking good and heighten your zoo's decoration score. I mean, that would be lovely. We don't want to block too many things. Let's see, some long grass over here. And then let's see, maybe a nice tree. Oh, look at the leafy ferns. How could I resist? Big old leafy fern and a vine tree in the back. Okay, let's get to kind of crowd the spots the tapirs can go in. However, it's a big giant leafy tree. All right, and then let's see. I'll pull a large fern next to that plant. And then I think we're getting close to being able to afford the nutrition thing. And then maybe we'll finish off with like one mushroom right there. There we go. So that's a little crowded for my tapirs. However, they're here and they look like they're happy. Sweet. And then research hub, <gasps> nutrition hut. Yes. Nutrition hut unlocked and the improbable lab. Use science to create vegetable based meat alternatives that are indiscernible from the real thing. Save the world with veggie burgers and vegetarian lions. Yes. Okay. I'm definitely going to do that. <gasps> and that's one of the facility packs. Two additional chambers in the crisper splicer if we get the other facility. I am all over that. Holy cow. And I love that because, like, I think that's super important. That's just a, a pixel biology truth we have is just making it so that we can work away from the things that we know for, like, hard science facts are hurting the planet, which the agricultural meat industry definitely does. And we're getting better and better at figuring out ways that we can just go ahead and, like, make it in a lab if people want to go ahead and eat meat, which I think is amazing. All right, let's add in some dark pines. And... We well, have to be careful not to block too many of the spots that our, our bears might need. Also, maybe some summer pines. Yeah, you gotta be, oh, wow. Oh, you can just like rotate between dark and summer <laughs> by right clicking. I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but it's pretty cool. All right. This is nice. I wanna be really careful not to block too many of their spots and make it so they can't get around their exhibit. However, it looks really good with a bunch of bushes scattered everywhere. Especially because otherwise, oh, a crisper flower. I don't know when we unlocked that, but I love it. Especially because there's not a lot of plants otherwise. Oh, a little tree stump, yeah. That's adorable. I really like the idea of putting in those tree stumps. Um, Long grass, no, if we put anything there, we'll block that whole zone for our poor bears. That's not what I'm trying to do, even though I added in so many things. But maybe like a nice medium rock. Whoops. Well, that's not where I thought to put the rocks, but that's where we're just going to have a little patch of rocks. Yay, and our employees leveled up. All right, I hope the bears are going to be really happy in here. And I think the last thing we can definitely do to try to take good care of them, make them happy, and take good care of all of the rest of our world, not factories, facilities is come over to the nutrition hut. Automatically order food for the animals. That is fantastic. And I love the way the nutrition hut looks. All right, we're just gonna have the nutrition hut be over here for now, because it fits there. And we're gonna pay this lady. We probably don't need to pay her like a ton. We're gonna give her a little, little pay raise. There we go. And then there we are. 
So with nutrition, auto order food nutritionist to help to take care of animal diet by ensuring there's a constant supply of food for your animals. Yes. Okay. So now I think that makes it so we legitimately don't have to worry all of the time. Oh, don't you dare say that's a boring enclosure. Those are happy bunnies. Um, but I think the nutritionist will make it so that you don't have to worry about the storehouse running empty on the food. Oh my. All right, that was a lot of money. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> and it's such a mess over here. I love it. The monkeys, why are you so poopy? I hate poopy monkeys. That's like one of my least favorite things in the world. Oh, but we got two new exhibits in today, which make me very, very, very happy. The bears are playing on the cliffside. It's so unbearably cute. And we have some tapirs, which are fantastic. So those guys will start going ahead and trying to add it to the, the family. Hopefully we'll have some tapir variants pretty soon. And then next time we will carry on with tidying up the zoo, just trying to make things look a little nicer, maybe retiring Robot Lion, because I, I feel really guilty about Robot Lion. <laughs> Oh dear. And then, oh dear, uh, maybe making sure we don't have too many babies. Oh, and maybe moving the tapirs, or not the tapirs, pardon me, the capybara over. <gasps> and all the animals are dead! Oh dear, and getting some new things in the crisper splicer. Oh my. All right. Oh dear. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you could, do please leave a like for our new bears. And if you would like to join us on this, oh popcorn the bear, that's adorable. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye